How's it going? I'm super excited to be here. As uh, I was just introduced, my name is Jan. I'm from Xverse. I, together with Trevor and many other builders, I've been in Ordinals from basically day zero. And uh, I'm just super stoked to see where we have come, you know, in the past 14, 16 months, because at the beginning of Ordinals, everybody was just saying, like, this makes no sense. Why would we do this on Bitcoin? And look at us today. You know, we're at the largest NFT conferences in Europe, probably, and we're talking about Ordinals. So I'm super excited to be here. Um, Xverse, I'm going to tell you a little bit more. We had some technical issues. I actually had video prepared that summarizes the entire journey of Ordinals for the past 14 months. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get it up. I hope so. But if not, you know, happy to uh, kind of improvise and, and see what we can do with the time. But Xverse, you know, I want to tell you a little bit more about that. Obviously, we had a booth over there. A lot of people came to us and were asking, like, well, what is this thing? Like, what are ordinals, etc." You know, ultimately, Xverse is the wallet that you need if you want to play around with ordinals, if you want to do runes, if you want to do BRC20 tokens, if you even want to get it. Uh, engaged with the Bitcoin L2s, obviously, maybe you have heard about that, that last meta that kind of popped up, you know, in the past six months. And so we really try to build the wallet for the Bitcoin ecosystem. That's our mission. We started three years ago. And obviously now, finally, we're kind of seeing that people are waking up to the idea that you can do Web3 on Bitcoin. And uh, we want all of you guys in the room to obviously try it out and maybe even build applications that people can use with Xverse. I want to say that I don't know how many of you are familiar with just Bitcoin in general and how the ecosystem evolved. Obviously, Bitcoin is the mother chain. Because of Bitcoin, we're all here. We wouldn't be here without Bitcoin. Uh, however, you know, I would even say that the Ordinals community really changed Bitcoin drastically. Because if you look at Bitcoin 14 months ago, 16 months ago, there was really little activity happening on chain. Yes, people would be so, uh, transferring Bitcoin to their friends, maybe buying a beer with Lightning at a Bitcoin conference. People were thinking about, like, you know, what do we do with these L2s, etc. But there was not really that much activity on chain. And if you look at Bitcoin today with ordinals, the picture is very different. Right now, you see that obviously Bitcoin is still there and it's growing. The underlying asset continues to evolve, and you know, we have more adoption with the ETFs, etc. But you also have the builder activity right now. And it's actually pretty astonishing that this happened basically in one year. And uh, you see, obviously, Ordinals, you know, Pizza Ninjas and many other collections. You know, you have art on chain. You have, I mentioned, runes, BRC20 tokens. You obviously still have Lightning and many other protocols like that. You have these L2s that are popping up. And everything is really growing. And it's more and more exciting every single day as we go by. And so I just want to emphasize that again. I think, I personally believe, that the Ordinals community changed Bitcoin forever. And obviously, you know, props to Casey Rodamore, the creator of Ordinals Protocol in the first place, because without him, we wouldn't be here. Uh, as I mentioned, Bitcoin, uh, as I mentioned, Xverse is the number one Bitcoin ecosystem. Well, that's obviously what we strive to do. And so if you want to get the airdrop, obviously, you see it on these big screens. Uh, if you are not maybe in Ordinals yet, you're kind of trying to learn a little bit about it, you know, maybe get some exposure. I think this is the best opportunity, obviously. So, uh, you know, we as experts, we do all those kinds of things that you're used to from other ecosystems and probably even more than that. And uh, we have done so from the very beginning. So obviously you can manage all of your Bitcoin related assets, you know, be it runes, ordinals, etc. You know, you have nice kind of collectible, you know, interface um, and stuff like that. You know, also things that, you know, actually you consider like normal in other ecosystems that were not normal. For instance, like integrating seamlessly with Ledger, etc. It's, it's harder to build on Bitcoin. Many of these things don't really exist before. And so, you know, we have really kind of taken the, the step that like, hey, we want to be kind of the leading, you know, company, obviously, and provide that experience that people are used to and obviously make it even better as we go. And uh, so... If you download Xverse, it's really the only app, the only wallet that you need, because you can easily access the Bitcoin ecosystem. You can see what kind of apps are hot, you know, what you can do. Obviously, you can go to marketplaces. You can go to, uh, you know, people are building decentralized exchanges now, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, people love Xverse, you know, and I think one reason why people love Xverse obviously is the product itself, but the second reason really is the community presence. I think. You know, again, I mentioned it at the very beginning. We have been in ordinals and in Bitcoin, for the matter, for many years. And in ordinals, basically, from day one. 
and we really think that the community is the alpha. You know? And so we really try to interact with our users as much as we can, obviously solve problems if they, if they appear. And I think it shows, you know, and we want to obviously continue to do so. I think another example why, you know, I believe that the community kind of, you know, really keeps growing, like we, we, we like put the effort back into it. So obviously we're kind of together growing with the community. We just hosted largest ordinals event in the world in Hong Kong about two, three weeks ago, and we're going to do it again. And so, you know, if you guys are, you know, if you, if you guys want to see what the ordinals, ordinals community is all about, obviously kind of explore other, other regions and, you know, I would say even other continents, you know, I would love to welcome you next year because we're going to do it again. We're going to do it in Hong Kong. We don't have a date yet, but, but definitely it's going to happen again. And so uh, I don't know if you have the video, but, you know, feel free to reach out to me if I can be helpful, if I can help you with your Ordinals questions, if I can help you with your experts question, uh, if I can help you with the airdrop questions. You know, I'm here to serve you guys, and I would love to make sure that you have a great experience when it comes to getting into Bitcoin, maybe for the first time with Xverse, with Ordinals, and thanks to Ordinals Lisbon. So thank you so much.